I'm with England and Sussex cricketer Holly Colvin and playing in an Ashes series uh, is exciting, playing at your home, home, home ground makes it doubly exciting doesn't it? Yeah, it's uh, the ground where I made my test debut and it's a special place to me because it's where I grew up playing my cricket and it's just really good to come home, especially on a bank holiday weekend, so hoping to get a good crowd in to come watch. And you mentioned your, uh, your England debut here, that was eight years ago now, that, that's amazing isn't it? I know, <laughs> it seems like only yesterday but um, and also the girls that I've grown up with in the team, the majority of them are, st are still there. So um, it's great that we've grown up together and really developed as a side. And yeah, 2005 seems like, yeah, not that long around the corner. And that was a remarkable story back, back in that year, in 2005, because you, you just came to, um, to bowl in the nets, didn't you? And you were still at school. Yeah, um, the uh, Australians had a left arm spinner, um, Shelley Nitschke, who's world class, and they wanted a bit of practice. And I rocked up the day before and they decided to pick me. It was all a bit of a whirlwind and um, I didn't exactly know to the sort of world's greatest batsman I was bowling at which to be honest was a great thing um, being naive to it all. <laughs> and um, the series so far, it's, it's, I mean you lost yesterday but it's still delicately poised, I mean are you still confident that you can get back into the series and get back ahead and get the ashes? Of course we are, I mean um, we've, we've come back from situations like this and we're a really tough side, we'll be fighting for it, we've got nothing to lose, we're, we, we really want these Ashes back and obviously we're going to come back fighting with these two games at Hove. And it's a new format isn't it, tell us all about that. Um, yeah, so every format now counts for the Ashes, so the Test match is worth six points and uh, each ODI and each 2020 is worth two points each, so every format has equal amount of points, so it's all to play for and it's the best all round side will win it. And do you like that format? Do you think it adds a little bit to, to it? Yeah, I think it does. I think it makes every game count, that it's not just a one-off test match and a one-day series. Every single match really counts towards something. And I think it's really brought the series to light, to be honest. And playing at Hove, you know it well. I mean, will you have lots of friends and family there watching this week, this weekend? Um, just my mum and dad, um, a few friends, but not too much. I'm hoping for the local crowd to come down anyway, especially hopefully it being a sunny weekend. Um, and yeah, looking forward to it really. And how do you see the games panning out? I mean, it's been quite t t tight tussle so far, haven't they? Oh yeah, and I think it always will be with, between us and Australia. There's always been that sort of tough fought contest between us and to be honest, I have no idea which way it's going to go, but all I can hope for is that it goes our way. And how's your form been this summer so far? Um, I've been a little bit out um, playing cricket cause with my um, broken thumb, so I haven't managed to get many games under my belt, but hopefully I can come back and uh, make sure I put some good performances in. How did you break your thumb? Oh, I was playing league cricket um, and the ball was hit back to me um, on the floor when I was bowling and it hit the end and broke. Okay, and it, you, you're all okay now though? Yeah, yeah, all fully fit, ready for the series.